I was talking to a friend the other day and they were talking about how stressed they were, they wanted to go away, they needed a little break or everything was just doing their head in, just cussing and not cussing, let me not say that, that's a lie, they weren't cussing. And I was, I was just asking like, why, why are you so stressed, what's happening? And they were like, oh, you wouldn't understand, you take loads of holidays, you're always flying away, you're always taking breaks and you got loads of good people around you. And I was like, yeah, that's, it's good and everything, but that's not the reason why I don't feel so much pressure. It does get to me sometimes, because obviously I'm human. But I don't allow it to stay with me for so long. I don't entertain stress for too long because I understand something that a lot of people need to understand. So I took a holiday a couple of weeks ago with my, my family. Um, it was, it was fantastic, it was great. I will leave um, a little uh, montage of the holiday um, after this video. It was just really nice to take a break and just clear your head and you know have some time where you could just concentrate on you and your family. But to make the speculation that that was the reason why I have a lot of peace is false. Someone once told me that if you allow people to be the ones that make you happy, it means that people are going to be the ones that make you sad. But a lot of people, just come in, just come in. Are you done? No, I'm not done yet. Um, what was I? Oh, you made me lose what I was. I'm sorry. Yeah. So a lot of people are influenced by the things of the outside to make them feel better. Like the way the world is and what happens around them. It's not funny. I told you it was gonna <laughs> She's even laughing. <laughs> Like the way the world is around them and the things that happen around them influences how they feel on the inside, in their hearts and in their mind. But really what it should be is that the things on the outside should be influencing what you feel on the inside. It's the person who is inside of you that should be influencing how people see you on the outside. A lot of people allow things and people to determine how they feel on a certain day. But if your life, if your heart is in the hands of God, it allows you to rest because the Bible says that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. He doesn't change. He's the same. No matter what we do, no matter how things are, no matter what we say, he still feels the exact same way about us today, the way he did yesterday when we first gave our life to Christ, when we were first given birth to whatever. Like, come on, man. What am I saying? <laughs> his... his He's, stop laughing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing. The way he sees us never changes. It, it doesn't change. My wife is still laughing at me because I made a mistake. It's not funny. I don't, I don't appreciate it. Sorry. <laughs> the things on the outside shouldn't be influencing you. The way things are. Think about it. Jesus Christ was in a boat and was sleeping whilst there was a storm. The disciples were trying to keep the, the boat afloat. The more they were trying to get water out, the more water that was coming in. But they went downstairs to look for Jesus Christ to see what he can do about it and he was sleeping. He wasn't scared. He knew that the destiny that God had for him wasn't going to end there. In the same way, when we have that same mentality and we know that God has called us to greatness, we don't walk around in fear, we don't walk around stressed because we know that our life is in the hands of God. And it's one thing that we say all the time that I've given my life to Christ, I've given my life to Christ, but we really want things in our own hands. When you've given your life to Christ, it means that everything in your life is in His hands and you're able to leave it for Him. When you have that mentality, you understand that Jesus Christ is in control of everything. No matter what good thing happens around me, no matter how bad it looks around me, Jesus Christ is the one that is in control of my life. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. He understood that Jesus Christ, the one who is in charge of everything, in charge of the whole world, has his life in his hands. Having Christ on his side was what gave him peace of mind. Don't let things around you determine your peace. But go to God and say, God, I know you're in control and I'm leaving it in your hands. I'm leaving it with you in faith. The Bible says literally, cast all your cares upon him, which means just 
let everything go and give it to him. Obviously you have a part to play in making life better, but there are certain things that are out of your control that you should be giving to him. So just know that God is in control and that your life is going to be fine. Just do your part and let him do his. But the video montage is going to be coming up next. So yeah, so we'll see each other soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share so you can encourage someone and I'll see you guys later.